Welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Urbanzik, Teaching and Learning Coordinator. Today's Active Tip is taking a look at the first research-based instructional strategy, identifying similarities and differences. I identified some key ways that you can, you can use technology in your classroom to help students identify similarities and differences. Here are three ideas. First, you can use the resource library to find graphic organizers. Here's a graphic organizer I created using circles. I um, brought in some other things from the resource library. An idea that you can use to amp it up would be to have students use the learner response devices and then use the word seed. So if we were to ask a question like, what is one of the themes that you've read in Shakespeare? People would send in their responses using their active expressions. And then we would word seed them. So we might have a bunch of different responses down here in this white box. Now we could use the active expressions again to select where we think these choices should go. Should they go in B, A, or C? If, let's say, we were comparing Hamlet and Macbeth. Another way that you can use your Active Inspire to identify similarities and differences is to use containers to create reinforcers. Marzano studied the different aspects of interactive whiteboards that really increased student achievement, and one of them was what he called the reinforcer properties. And the reinforcer properties is the idea that the student finds out right away if their answer is right or wrong. So here I created a bunch of text boxes and a bunch of containers. And the containers are simply objects, they're simply um, shapes on the page that have been set up to contain something. And you can do that in your property browser. Below label, there's a box for contain. So these containers are just everyday shapes and they're set up in the property browser. can contain a specific object. Now this is set up to be a specific object of these objects. It says text 11 and when you click here you get, an, um, you get to see all the different pieces of text you have on the page. So this one is, is set up to contain smooth skin. If anything besides smooth skin goes into this it won't be allowed to go. Move my page back over here. So if I'm looking at the life cycle of amphibians, it's going to jump back. It's not contained. It doesn't fit in that box. If I move this one over, I have it set up to make a reward sound. And that's all in the same containers. So if you look at this container, I chose what I wanted it to contain. I chose if I wanted it to have a reward sound when the right one was in and what the reward sound would be. And in each of these text boxes here, I set up that they should return if they were not contained by the box. One more way that you can use identifying similarities and differences is to use the learner response devices. I read this great book called The Response Revolution by Robert Powell. And he shows how you can use the self-paced response inherent in the learner response devices to create different kinds of assessments. One of the great things about this is that you can set up the levels that the questions should be. So you can assign levels to questions from 1 to 9. That way you can have a student need to complete three level 1 questions to move on to level 2. You can track the student's progress through the levels as they take this assessment right on their learner response device. So here's an example where you could use the numeric response to have students identify similarities and differences. So on each of their active expressions, they would be able to enter the numbers of the words they thought were in the wrong column. So if they thought that medico should be feminine, they could enter one. So three different ways that you can use identifying similarities and differences would be to use the resource library or to create your own graphic organizers, to use containers that create reinforcers and give students immediate feedback, or also to use learner response devices. 
I hope you've enjoyed today's active tip. Check out our full range of professional development courses and workshops. Thanks.